One source of assistance for Sandy's victims is right here in the Capital Region, where many people want to help their downstate neighbors. Matt Markham met up with some people who are starting to put ideas into action. Tracy Kennedy knows some people in the New York metropolitan area. Her heart broke while her eyes were glued to the television, watching what Sandy did to their hometowns. Up here, people are just saying, I want to help, I want to help, I want to help. And a lot of people, I think, are very skeptical, skeptical of just giving money, so they want to buy things. The only problem with that. And you have to give it to somebody to get down there. And a lot of people, you know, can't take the time to go down on the weekends and that's the thing that I can do. After a stop at the store, Tracy will head to the eye of the storm Sunday herself. She's not the only one with ideas taking shape, though. Nearby, the Terminal Tavern is a stop for donations, thanks in part to Nikita Retrovato. Well, I like wish I could just build them brand new houses. I can't believe that, you know, people that are that close to us have been so greatly affected. We're waiting till the end of this weekend, see what we have, and if people are still out there saying they're willing to donate, we're going to try keeping it going. As Tracy will. When we left, she did too. Right back into the store to buy more. For this trip, we will be taking my very small Chevy Cobalt um, down, but we'll pack it as you know tight as we can. A yeah, tight trip, but still plenty of room for help. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News. Trace is on Facebook. You can contact her there if you want to help her out. The Terminal Tavern Group has other locations where you can drop off donations. And for a list, you can head to our website, cbs6albany.com.